what's going on guys in this video I want to show you how to use Python 3 on your Android device so let's go ahead and jump into the Play Store just like that and you're going to search for PyDroid alright so once you find the PyDroid 3 application you want to make sure it's the correct one and go ahead and install that there we go, it's installing. Boom, just like that. Let's open it up. Uh, not interested for now. All right, so we have installed the application. You can see it pops up this editor, which is basically the home screen. So before even getting into anything, it's a good idea to click right here. Oops, right here actually and you want to go ahead and see the available options so you can see we have the interpreter we have the terminal and you also have the settings so once you open up the settings you can check all the different editor options alright the tab length and then the system options it's gonna show you your custom shell path among other things code analysis let's take a look at appearance you can customize it to whatever font or font size that you like and yeah basically I'm gonna go ahead and put the dark mode I usually prefer the dark theme overall alright so we have Python installed now of course we're gonna need some libraries because you're just going to have to download some libraries at some point. So you're going to want to go to pip. All right. And here you can actually search for the library name that you're looking for. On this channel, we've been working with Pi AES script a bunch lately. So let's go ahead and search for that. It will ask you to allow access. We're going to go ahead and do that and you're gonna notice we're missing the repository plugin so once it asks you to go ahead and get the plugin you just want to click that box and you're gonna have to install this repository as well to be able to get the additional libraries for your project so let's go ahead and install it alright it's installed let's head back into PyDroid and we'll go ahead and hit install this time and yeah you can see now it's actually going through the motions downloading the required dependencies and let's just give it a second to fully download and install Pi AES script along with its dependencies All right, there you can see it just completing installing all these packages, Pi C parser, CFFI, cryptography, and Pi AES script. So if you are interested in different libraries, you could just hit the name right here, or you could simply click on search libraries, or you could just hit libraries here, and that would show you a lot of the different libraries available to download and play with. All right, so we've gone ahead, we've downloaded libraries, we've showed how to get that out of the way. Now let's finally run a program here. In my last video, I've made a program to basically encrypt files recursively or individual files. So let's go ahead and open that program up here in our Android device. I've placed it inside of the Python directory right here. And yeah, here it is so this is the whole program I'm not gonna go through the code I'm just gonna fire it up so we can try out PyDroid alright so these are the options the program gives you and yeah let's play with it uh, let's go ahead and try to encrypt a directory recursively so let's do a directory listing and if you are interested in what this program actually does, you can check my latest video above here and you will find out. 
So let's go inside of this voice recorder folder here and basically try to encrypt that recursively. So we cd into the directory. We see there's a few different files. So we can do encrypt all just like that. Enter a password. We'll do my password and we'll do an asterisk to encrypt all the files in that directory and there we go it's uh, one by one encrypting all the files now it's finished fully encrypted all the files uh, we can go ahead and do a directory listing and we can see they now have the .as extension so just for the tutorial sake we'll go ahead and decrypt all of them so they're not encrypted. <laughs> we'll put the asterisk here and boom, there we go. Decrypting one by one. So that was today's short video, how to use Python 3 on your Android device. Hope y'all enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.